Only two students answered me. Yes, it is absolutely right. Am I audible now? Am I audible now? Okay. Only two students answered me and that's right. Number C, definitely. Yesterday, my sister was trapped in a lift for an hour. You could see there are... How many sentences are there in, a, in this passage? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine sentences are there in the passage and just in a single line, in a single sentence, you say the whole thing. Yesterday, my sister was trapped in a lift for an hour. And what about this? Yes, we are others. I have only the one answer and that is B. Uh, so will you please elaborate your answer, Hamza? That why do you think that B is the correct answer? Uh, I mean, because uh, it started with like from the third line that if there is a decline in world trade, then there is a fall in the demand for products. And then the passage just talks about it. And you see there are other like things like what problems will occur if the demand falls, like for the if the raw materials or if the countries stop producing raw materials, it just shows the different problems different countries face. If certain like if certain things 
off if something like that happens. So this is the reason why I think that B is the B may be the correct answer. And if I look into the other options, like you see number C, then it just makes no sense because it just talked only once in the entire passage about rubber, tin, and oil, that they're example of natural resources. And uh, for A, it was, I mean, it, it also speaks up for like one line in the entire passage that countries that produce raw materials are greatly affected by a world recession. So by cutting down those two options and by seeing that the entire passage talks about the effects if uh, raw materials stop producing, they face. So this is why I think that B may be the correct answer. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Anyone, anyone else? C and D definitely they do not have any sense that Robert in an oil example of natural resources and countries which have many raw materials are not affected by a fall in the world trade. That is only it's uh, very explicitly written that one might suppose that countries that are rich in natural resources such as rubber, tin and oil would remain unaffected. So it is not so. Uh, so it is clearly written in the paragraph. But what about the number one? A and two. So what do you understand by the recession word? What is the meaning of the word? Countries that produce raw materials are greatly affected. So, uh, it is written anywhere else that the developing countries stop producing raw materials. Is it written here in this passage? Uh, no, nothing about developing countries is written here. So, I think it's A. I'm not sure now. What do you think uh, other participants? I am uh, asking about the other participants. What do you think? A or B? A or B is the right answer. The price of new materials fall when to a point at which it is unprofitable to produce them. Indeed, the producers of raw materials are sometimes more seriously affected by a recession than industrialized countries are. So what do you think that the countries that produce raw materials are greatly affected by war recessions? Or the answer could be B, when developing countries stop producing raw materials, here is a fall in world trade. So what do you think? What happens that the more developing countries stop producing raw materials? Why? Uh, they will stop producing raw materials. In by reading this passage, we conclude that the developing countries that are producing raw materials are greatly affected because uh, the demands are declined, and uh, they even uh, there is the demand for raw material falls sharply, and this inevitably has an effect on primary producers. So, the E is the correct answer that the countries that produce raw materials are greatly affected by a world recession. Uh, do you know what is the meaning of the recession? Recession means the decline in um, uh, temporary economic decline. Recession is a temporary, uh, temporary economic decline during uh, which trades and industrial activities are regionally uh, identified uh, identified by a fall in GDP. So uh, the recessions, if you know the word, so you need to have a good vocabulary when you want to sum up a passage or when you want to um, uh, precise any passage or um, in language, in uh, linguistics or in language uh, paper, you need to have good vocabulary to use them in your writing 
to impress your examiner. So what is the actual purpose of our writing? The actual purpose of our writing is to impress the examiner. Uh, and if you uh, impress your examiner, so he or she will give you uh, definitely uh, an impressive marks, uh, and you will be happy by. Another tip for writing a summary. So leave out details, examples, and illustrations. Leave out details, examples, and illustrations. Just for example, uh, the farmers grew rice, <clears throat> maize, wheat, and barley. So you could use the one word for maize, wheat, and barley. That is crops. So in this way, you could uh, easily drop the details and write a single word for the list of food or crops. Do it yourself. You have to use a single line to describe these three words, three sentences. You have to write a single line. Please do it fast as we are also running out of time. All of you are here or listening me? We have just 10 minutes left. Okay, if you, uh, uh, if you do not think, uh, if you are not able to summarize it or to write a single line, you could say here, she could play the piano well and even had some idea of how to play the violin and guitar. She could read music and has written several of her own songs. So you could write in, uh, instead of these three lines, you could write, she was an excellent musician. She was an excellent musician. Instead of these three lines, you could use a single line. That is, she was an excellent musician. And here's the same, uh, the different paragraph or different lines. So you have to write the one line or one sentence for all these uh, at just a single line. The population was 2 million in 1965 or 3 million by 1970 and then rose rapidly to 4 million by 1976. One, much to surprise of the government, it reached 6 million by the end of 2000, two lines. How could you sum up in one line? Is it possible for you? She is musician and singer. Mm, yes, very well. Uh, you are near to the answer, uh, Miss Afia. Uh, but here is a difference that you wrote here that she is a musician and a singer. Uh, but she is not a singer. It is not written anywhere that she is a singer. It is written that she could read music and had written several of her own songs. So writing a song 
and writing a music, reading a music and writing a song is something different, right? If I uh, if I am writing a song, it doesn't mean that I am a singer. Okay, so if I am writing a drama, it doesn't mean that I am an actor. So she is not a singer; she is just a musician. Anyway, you were near to the answer, and it's very good that you at least you tried. Okay, so what about this sentence? The population was two million in nineteen sixty five, over her three millions by nineteen seventy, and then rose rapidly to four millions by nineteen seventy six. Much to the surprise of the government, it reached six million by the end of two thousand. Uh, as nobody answered, so I am giving you the answer. The population raised from uh. From two million to six million, and between nineteen sixty five to between nineteen sixty five to two thousand. So you can sum up these three, uh, these two sentences like this. And uh, here is also a task for you. Uh, just tell me that if you are interested in doing this task, it is just for you, it is not for me. And if you are interested in doing the task, then I will give you the task to do because I have also uh, uh, less than five minutes. So if you are not interested or you uh, think or you are not comfortable, so I will leave the task and just go to the main point. Just tell me, hurry up. Okay, I think we should, uh, I should sum up the whole session. We are just, uh, we have just five minutes left. Now come to what not to do. When you are doing a summary writing, what sh you should not do. You should not omit articles like A and D. You should not write in note form. You should not copy from the passage. It is for the summary writing. You should not add any information. <clears throat> and you should not comment uh, whether you are agree or disagree with the uh, the with the passage that is given to you. You uh, it is just it is a task that is just given to you for uh, writing summary or writing a precise or for the reading comprehension. You don't need to give your own comments or your own thinking or your own opinion. You should not add any extra details or any extra information that is not in the passage. You should not write in the alternate lines or you should not. The very important thing is you should not forget to cross out any rough work. Right? If you have uh, written any notes or you should have uh, or you have uh, uh, written any bullet points so you have to cross uh, uh, whatever work you don't want uh, the to see the examiner you don't want the examiner to see that work so you have to cross it clearly so uh, it uh, because it makes uh, it waste examiner's time too you should be careful uh, you should not do any spelling grammatical and punctuations mistakes and what you must do you have to write must use your own word especially in summary writing you have to use the accurate language use continuous writing i will explain it write within the word limits if the examiner asks you to write uh, within 150 to 180 uh, 180 words you have to write in the same length don't cross the limit or uh, don't use the lesser word. Write down how many words you have used at the end of your summary. If you have written 150 words in the summary writing, you have to, you have to count the words and uh, you have to write in the end of your summary that you have written 160 words. And uh, you should be honest in writing the exact word because uh, that uh, the examiner will not rely on you. He or she can count the words. And if she finds it uh, uh, de deceived, so he or she may cut your mark too. So what is the continuous writing? Continuous writing is a form of writing that, uh, as I told you, 
uh, that you have to make notes. You have to take the main points from the passage and you will uh, you will point, underline the words that the problem and the solution and you will writing in a note form. So uh, how can you join these sentences? So you have to write in a way that uh, it looks like or it seems a whole passage or whole paragraph or a whole essay. Uh, you have to use the linking words, linking words or the transition words that connect the sentence or that connect the ideas and give the shape of a whole passage or a paragraph, right? Uh, it, it should not be like a bit of the information. Uh, just just for example okay, if you have taken the uh, taken the one theme or one sentence from the paragraph one and the second from par paragraph two and three and four and when you uh, read out the passage when you read out the whole paragraph so it's uh, there is no connection within the idea so within the sentences so it is the most important thing that your writing should be a continuous writing it means you have to uh, link the ideas you have to link the sentences just like we link in a continuous writing or in a pass or in an essay or in articles so there should not be any gap uh, in our writing or in paragraph uh, so this is a brief uh, introduction of the summary writing i hope you understand it well if there is any question uh, you may ask me uh, be, uh, we have less than one minute and uh, as I told you that we will tell you the answer in the last. He was right. The B was the uh, right, right answer. And I have answered the question of what is the difference between the summary writing and the precise writing. I sum up it again. Uh, that in summary writing, we use our own words. And in pre precise writing, we have to follow the structure. We have to put the hiding. We have to uh, give the conclusion of the paragraph and uh, uh, we can use the keywords and the main phrases uh, from the passage for precise writing uh, but we don't need to do so in the summary writing